So how did it go? It went almost well. Almost well? And what do you mean? It was difficult at first. Is that what you meant by almost well? Yes. One day, you will look back and thank me for this. Him. What could this mean? Help you. Mm -mm. Two people don't share in a cause. Meant for one. Leave me to my cause. A cause? What cause, my prince? Please mind your business. But my prince.
the two dreams happened in a few minutes. I couldn't sleep last night. If you were not the prince of Isiala Kingdom, I would have spat on your face. Did I not tell you to ask your father what he is hiding from you? Do you want to die before your time? I... He, he refused talking to me. Then you are not a man. You want to die for what you know nothing about? I, I, I'm scared. I don't want to die. Oh, for the second dream, if you must know. The throne of Isiala Kingdom will come under a tug of war. Because of what your father did. Is Ibezim going to be the man at the end of the rope? Oh, I did not mention names. I only said what will happen. You are a true son of Isiala. Iwe, that's not all. For the 20 young men I trained in secondary school, I am ready to sponsor them to university level. Hey! The Lion of Isiala. <laughs> what could we have done without you in Isiala? Yeah? <laughs> Only you single-handedly built two town halls, <laughs> gave us pipe bond water, employed 30 of our youths in your company, and you are still doing more. Iwe, may our gods flourish you. <laughs> Iwe, and stay counted. Hey. Now, I want you to calculate the cost of a fella. I mean the total cost of a fella. I'll take care of it. Hey! The lion of Isiala. <laughs> Only who must hear what you have just said. Uh, huh? Amen. May the gods bless you and flourish you. Amen. <laughs> Ibe zemungwa fo. Ibe. Ibe. You don't have to involve me. Ah. Ah. Obina. I hope all is well. All is not well. Father, the water is up to my neck. We need to talk. Do you realize that you are in front of a very important visitor? Then I'll wait outside. When you're done, we must talk. I'm sorry about that. Uh, you will not have to be sorry. I regret his dropping out of school. Otherwise, I would have taken him to Abuja. He will mix with dignitaries, very important people in this society, the checkers and movers in Abuja. Unfortunately, I recently discovered he could not read or write. Uh, please, I don't want to remember that at all. I don't want to. I have to be going anyway. Yeah, it's okay. You have done well. Oh, cool. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Igwe. Igwe, man. Igwe. Igwe. Go well. You should have been more polished than this. I will talk to you when I'm done with my father. Oh, 
What was the meaning of that robbery? Tell me, what are you hiding from me? The next time you barge in on me, when I have a very important guest, I will give you the shock of your life. Father, tell me, what are you hiding from me that is about to ruin my life? I don't have time for this. Father, tell me, what are you hiding from me that is about to ruin my life? Talk to me! Father! God. My princess You look very sad and you're crying. What is it? You can talk to me. Don't cry, please. Whatever it is, there's definitely a solution. But don't cry yourself. Please, my princess, are you all right? I guess you're here to ask the same question. Father, do you want your only surviving son to die? Tell me what you did. We could have appeased the gods. Uh, because it's obvious I'm the escape goat. You don't have to worry about that. I have all that covered already. So you really did something. My life is at stake here. An omen. Looking around. I will be the one to tell you whose life is at stake. I am your father. I know when an omen is lurking. Father, why are you doing this? Obina, I need to rest now. Official Kingdom, you haven't said anything. My father has hardened his heart. Oh, my prince, you are no longer a child. Why don't you want to tell me what my father did? The prince of Official Kingdom. I am not a homebreaker. Whatever I do must be in accordance with the details of the gods. Last night in my dream, a masquerade chased me into a river. I was almost drowning. We don't know who came to my rescue. My prince, I don't interpret dreams, but this one is another omen. The only person you can trust now 
to tell you all you need to know is to know. But he may be scared to tell you how another pistol was used in your mortar. A pistol used in my mortar. Does a pistol signify? Um, Your Highness, excuse me. I'll be in the kitchen. I ask, what does a pistol signify? There are many things a father does for the sake of his son. Many things. Father, you've not answered my question. Well. Whatever you call it, it cannot start. I can swear by my chin that you know what that signifies. And you must tell me when I come back. kitchen. Keep sacred things sacred. There is no shortcut in life. Whatever you do can make or my you. Whatever that has to do with life. Whatever that can take or give life. Be careful. My love. What do you have to say? I am sorry. What does a pistol signify? I am sorry. What does a pistol signify? I am sorry. And Sami, what does a pistol signify? I know you know it. Are you ready to tell me the truth? Did you sleep with my wife? What nonsense! How can you accuse me of sleeping with your wife? I asked you a very simple question. Did you sleep with my wife? I cursed your mouth for asking that stupid question. How dare you! Do you know the implication of what you just said? Don't let me curse you with this offer for saying that. Get out of my palace now. Get out if I curse you. Whatever that has to do with life. Gosh. Whatever that can take or give Stop in my community. Be careful. Handle with respect. Because... It is so sacred. My prince, you didn't try at all. You didn't. You have to go and apologize to your father for accusing him wrongly. I did not accuse him. I only asked him a question. Hmm. When you ask your wife, are you a bad cook? 
what you've invariably done is that you've called her a bad cook. When a son meets the father and says, Father, if you were not my father, I would have called you a stupid man. What he has done is that he has called the father a stupid man. Do you understand me? I've heard you. Good. We are getting closer to the truth. It will only take some time, but the truth must surely come out. Oh no, this whole thing is taking my sense away. <laughs> if you survive this, you will be the greatest king that we've ever had in this Yala kingdom. Mm. Trust me. Is that right? Okay. Oh no. Yeah. I'll take my leave now. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. Be a man, eh? It's okay. All right. Once again, I, I said I'm sorry. Obe now, what you did was not only abominable, but unfathomable. I'll forgive you only if you come forth with a four-legged animal. What? That's my condition. Okay, you get a goat. I just said what you did or said was abominable. You get a cow. It's better. I will arrange for the cow. Good. I'm sorry, once again. I want you to learn something and learn it good for the betterment of your life. When you finally become king, don't make decisions in a hurry. Think through the process before you decide. Because any wrong decisions you make will haunt your subjects for the rest of their lives. Thank you, Dad. Now, can you tell me what you did that can ruin my life? I have told you that it has already been sorted out. But I still have nightmares. And they still haunt me. Well, it is your mind that deceives you. Some bad dreams come from the mind. I don't believe mine is so. Come on, son. Should we argue all the time about this? Get us a drink. Let's clear our heads. I don't want to drink. Fine. Then find yourself something to make you happy. Thank you. Once again. Some things are better learnt at the feet of your father. Where is the child? 
a good to him to Haru. Why were you sorry? Hmm? Um, <clears throat> nothing. I mean, I don't know. Can I get you something to eat? Who can tell me what is going on? Tell me the cause of what we have been through. Mm -hmm. Who can tell me what to do? To bring I can see what is going on in the palace. I want to be the next king of Isiaba until Obina has a male child that is his flesh and blood. How did you know this? The young man who got Adara pregnant is my boy. He was once my driver. Ibezim, you cannot force me to put my hands into a burning coal. I cannot do what you are asking me to do. That's it. You must do it. Who are you to talk to me that way? Who are you? You slept with the wife of the blacksmith and killed him, claiming it was the guards who killed him for sleeping with another man's wife. How did you know? <laughs> Do you want us to discuss it at the Council of Elders meeting? Ibezim, you are evil. <laughs> All I want you to do is to make the young man Obina have countless sacrifices until he loses his senses. Make him believe so much in you, more than himself. With that, I'm fine and okay. I'll bring my money to you when I become the king of Isiela. How about that? You have done well. Yes. Now we can talk about the blood sacrifice. Are you ready for it tonight? Yes, I'm ready. Then, come with plenty of wine. It's all right. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, I've been meaning to ask you. Why did you stop coming to the palace? I will not step my foot in that palace until Igwe tells you the truth. Until the palace is cleansed. Enough. What you do not know, will not know you. I have washed away the bad luck from your father. Go. Do not look back. Do not talk to anyone. Obina. At this hour, kindness is not real. In short, nothing is real.
Matrice What are you doing? What is this? Why are you dressed like this? Naked in the palace? Is there anything you need us to talk about? You were in that dream. What dream? No, it is not his making. I... I had a terrible nightmare last night. I know. Uh, the sacrifice. I didn't work. Did it? Go home, Obina. It will take time to manifest. It's all right. It's all right. All right. Why am I still toasticated? Why? It's all right. Obina. Uh -huh. The sacrifice is working. It's all right. Keep sacred things separate. There is no shortcut in life. Whatever you do can make or my you. Whatever that has to do with life. <laughs>
bits. Let's get to it. Come on, stop this. Get up. Leave me! Oh. Leave me alone. Man. Get out. Let's get out. Get out, get out, get out. Get out. Uh. Let's get out. My husband has been drunk for two days. He has taken no food. And he smells of blood and palm wine. He'll be fine. Just make sure you take uh, Obonai out of his sight. My king, I am scared. I am worried. What oh, come on. Except you are going to tell him. No one is going to tell him. Just go and take care of the baby. Cautious and careful in life to avoid regrets and living in grief. Be faithful to your cause and your subjects. Always be genuine and honest. Follow due process in life. Keep sacred things. Sacred, there is no shortcut in life. Whatever you do, can Your Highness, Your Highness, Your Highness, Your Highness, the worst has happened. My husband has gone mad. What is it again? He, he is talking to himself and fighting something that I cannot see. Listen, young woman, go and sleep in the guest room. He will be fine. Who can tell me what is going on? Tell me the cause of what we have been through. Mm -hmm. Who can tell me what to do to bring back dignity and royalty? Are you alright? Who can tell me what is going on? Tell me the cause of what we have been through. Who can tell me what to do to bring back dignity and harmony in place? <laughs> Welcome. Uh, how come you're here so early? I hope all is well. I summoned him. Why? To tell them that I will not come out on a father day. What? You wouldn't do that. But I know I don't talk two times. I stick to my words. Obi, you cannot possibly say that. Are you not aware that we will be presenting you before our people as our next king? I do not care. I am not interested. Igwe. Obina. Igwe. Um.
know what to do. You better start doing it now. We don't have time. This is a very dicey situation. And we have to be proactive about it. I wouldn't want you to go into this with your father. In fact, I have always admired you since you were a boy. I admired your calmness as a person. I will advise that you don't start this with your father right now. I will not change my mind. Well, in that case, you are opening the door for another man to keep that crown when your father departs. I cannot change my mind or no. Thank you. been true who can tell me what to do to bring back dignity and royalty I don't understand your question. What are we in this town? What are we to the king? Ojuku. Yes. What do you want me to do? Mm. Why are we silent? Why are we behaving as if we don't know what Obina is saying? To tell you the truth, mm. I consulted a seer and he told me that Obina is being rebuilt. Rebuilt? How? The way it is happening now. Mm. Did the seer not tell you that the palace needs cleansing? Are you aware of that? Oh no, I'm not a small boy. My prince, the king summons you. My prince, go and tell him I don't have a king. What? My prince, Shuma, just get out. He said, What did he say? He said I should get out. Go and tell him I want him here now. But, Your Highness, go and tell him I said I want him here now. All right, Your Highness.
is written. Joma. My prince. When was the last time I raised my hands on you? You have never raised your hand against me. And I do not want to start today. I sent Juma to call you. He said he wanted to see me. And I told him I do not have a king. What insolence. Why would you say such a thing? Do you realize the implication of what you just said? Do you realize what you're about to do to my life? Do you? Anyway, I do not care anymore. I am going to destroy this kingdom. I will take my own life instead of the gods taking my life for what she committed. Come on now. I am tired of everything. I am tired of making sacrifice that doesn't work. I am tired. I am tired of being me. I am tired. Oh, I am tired. Calm down. <sighs> Calm down, Prince of Walla. Anyway, anyway, you've tried. I will always remember you. Thank you. Do, not do anything stupid. Gods of our land. Do not allow him to take his life. Please, gods of our land, do not allow him to take his life. Oh, gods of our land. Father, Father, you will regret ever making me pass through this. You're going to regret it. My love, you scared. 
Help me. Do you want anything? No. In case if I die in this fight, I want you to name him Obina if he's a boy. Nana, if she's a girl. the knife during cut through the radia and honor actress. If not, it would have been fatal. Um, I will be on my way now. I'll come back and check on him. Thank you, doctor. Well, ma'am, make sure he takes his medication properly as I instructed. Please. Thank you. Doctor. Is that right? I'll have to be on my way now. He had taken his own life. His blood would have been against you all. Your kingdom would have seen a great death. May the gods forbid. Oh no, why haven't you acted as suspected? Where is one? I was under the king's oath. <laughs> the king's oath? Then why are you here this time? Uh, the prince Obinna refused to be part of your father. Go! Go and talk to the famous DB of your time. Ask him questions. He has answers for them. did not ask you to come, you wouldn't have come or no. There is something I've come to realize. And that is, you cannot snap your fingers 
would I inform? Go home. It is too late. But we have questions to ask you. Yes, you have questions to ask me. I cannot answer your questions. Go home. Who can tell me what to do to bring back dignity and royalty in place? Who can tell me what is going on? Tell me the cause of what we have been through. Who can tell me what to do? What is he doing here? What is he doing here? The things you have passed through will make you a real man. Father, I do not have all the time. Please go straight to the point. I've told you my mind. So trying to convince me, it will not work. Obin, all I ask for is your forgiveness. I also want you to forgive your wife. We did all that for your sake. What do I need to forgive her for? Oh, her unfaithfulness, I guess. What she did was to save our lineage. To save this throne. If not, someone else would have taken over this throne. Father, I never told you I would not make a male child. I never told you I do not love my daughter at all. If I wanted to fix things, I could have taken a second wife. Obina, that's not what we are talking about. You cannot be presented as the next king, except you have an heir. Father, you made my wife sleep with another man. You. Fellow elders, please. I'm sorry. You people think I'm stupid. Please, as I was saying, my fellow elders, my prince, I'm sorry. I am not part of this madness. Cut me out of it. Please, I'm going. Bezim, let us assume that you never say such a thing. Your voice irritates me right now. Come. What has come over you? Give it to me. Okay. Chief Ibezim, nobody with your kind of blood will ever sit on this throne. I will never disappoint my forefathers by allowing you to sit on this throne <laughs> over my dead body. <laughs> but you spat on your forefathers. <laughs> 